Hello and welcome to the Walk in Love podcast. I'm TJ. And I'm Brooke. And today we're going to talk about the year. Thank you for listening. So satisfying. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making us a part of your week, part of your year, part of your car rides, a part of your life. Uh, We are overwhelmed by that. Um, And if we think about it too hard, too quickly, uh, tears will be involved. And so we try (laughs) to lessen, you know, we'll try to not get there quite yet. We'll get there. Oh, for sure. But not quite yet. I feel like I should turn a little bit. Uh, The Walk and Love podcast is a weekly conversation between Brooke and I about rhythms, faith, emotion, parenting. It is a place where we laugh and sometimes cry as we try to find language to live a full life. Yes. And if you like your listening to line up with your living, then you are in the right place. You are in the right place because you're here, which is incredible. (laughs) And we're super, super thankful. Um, Yeah. You know, we we do this and I I talk about this every time we, we do something like this. Normally we're doing this while kids watch a movie or take a nap or at the end of the day when they're in bed. Um, and it's just a, it, it's just a conversation between Brooke and I and t- to do it in front of people feels sort of surreal. Um, it, it makes me remember that people, uh, actually listen, which is really cool. And we appreciate that. Um, but yeah, we're just super, super stoked to be here. Yeah. Uh, can't believe that Jesse's here. That's incredible. Like that's amazing. Um, and yeah, just, I just can't believe we're here in December, mid December of 2023. Yeah. The year flew by. Like What? Yeah, what is right. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so we're just super, super stoked to you guys are here. Um, and we came all the way from Maui, Hawaii, yeah, which is a long trip. And we've had some travel issues uh, in our lives. Uh, it took us a week to get to Atlanta one time. And this trip was no different. Uh, no delays, no cancellations. Um just on the drive to the airport, uh, Brooke just casually mentions. I don't feel super well. And I'm, <laughs> no, that's not allowed. Um, well, first I thought it was that I had too much caffeine and not enough protein. Yeah, Brooke is like queen of of just like, I need to figure out the exact moment and reason I got sick. When did and it all When did wrong? it happen? How yeah. did it happen? So I guess so let it never me happens backtrack. again. And yeah, so it never happens again. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, uh, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we're driving to the airport. Um, I'll, I'll sidebar. I'll do my first sidebar. Okay. So we, um, you know, we, we try to offer our house to, to people to come stay in Maui when we come here. We offered it to two different people. Both of them turned us down. Um, they, they said they couldn't they, do they it They just this couldn't year. do it this year. And then they were like, can we be on a list? And I was like, I don't know if there is a list, but I guess you can. And we'll you're, start a list. you're they're at the top of the list. Um, and so then we we're like, well, we could just rent it. Uh, didn't get any bites there, which is no big deal. Um, and then we had done a podcast about this book, Simple Money, Rich Life. Mm-hmm. And we had written, we had read that book because Jesse was in Maui doing a fund, uh, like a singer songwriter workshop vibe thing. And uh, <laughs> she was like, and it was, it was a typical sort of Maui thing, <laughs> kind of like getting food at a restaurant in Maui, just like, this isn't exactly organized like it should be, but it's fine. Yeah. We don't have shoes on, so let's, we'll just live that life. <laughs> um, and so she texts us while she was there. She's like, hey, could we stay an extra day, me and my friend, because they were just like kind of crazy busy with the, the workshop. We said, sure. So they came over to our house. They stayed at our house and we're just sitting, I'm sitting in the blue chair in our kitchen. So Kudos to that blue chair in the kitchen. It's a good one. Um, the moms on Maui love the blue chair, right? There's a couple of moms on Maui here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One. There's one clapper. Uh, <laughs> so that's fine. Um, and while we're sitting there, we're talking to Jesse. She's like, hey, you know, we're talking about business and life and all this kind of stuff. She's like, well, my friends, uh, Bob and Linda wrote this book called Simple Money, Rich Life. And you guys should read it. So like anytime a friend recommends a book uh, that I trust, I'm just like, yes, Amazon, let's, we'll see it in two weeks. Um, <laughs> Yeah. And so we, we bought it and we read it and listened to it and it was just really great. And so we had done the podcast episode on, on them, uh, on their book and someone in our audience shared it to their story and tagged them. Was it someone here? No. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was just kidding. Um, and so they, sh- they reshared that on Instagram and I sitting in my chair, I'm like, what if we just invited them? 
So we uh, sent him a voice memo, which is like, hey, <laughs> this is a fun voice memo to send. Hey, Hi, we're, we're not, really normal. We're really normal, um, super normal we've people. We've never met. We're never met, but would you like you to come, come and sleep in our bed? Sleep in our while bed. While we're not home. While we're not home. <laughs> and <laughs> they kind of replied and was like, what? Yeah. You know, like, huh? Um, but th they're there. The, they long came. story short, they came, they're yeah. there, they're staying there right now. They drove us to the airport. Brooke probably gave her the stomach bug on the way to the airport. Um, <laughs> hey. Hey, <you're> sorry. <laughs> um, and, uh, and it was just like, to, to me, that's like the best part of the internet. Mm. Like, it's just yeah. like the internet c can kind of be like lately. Um, but when stuff like that happens, it happened because one fan shared a story and we just sent him a message and they, they were able to do it and we got to meet them. They came a day early. Yeah. So we got to meet them before they came. And that was just like really, really cool. Yeah. And, but that, yeah. that's how we, so I'm clean. I'm frantic. Yes. Not frantic. So let's go. Let, that's the story. I, I of, knew we were leaving. Yeah. So it's not like it was a surprise, but I'm still speed cleaning. Um, yeah. Turns you can face me. There we go. Well, I, I just, love that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeesh. But I feel like it this just, is like, no, that's my, why I had to move it. Yeah. No, not like that. So Does this feel casual? No, that's creepy. This is kind of how I record the podcast. <laughs> Just getting a look behind the curtain. Please, no. Shut the curtain. <laughs> um, no, so we're cleaning, and I'm just like, I don't feel great. But also, I don't know, I'm moving really quickly. I'm moving around. I'm really sweaty. It's yeah. fine. Maybe I'll be fine. And then I start, you know, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm verbally processing. Clean faster. The whole clean thing. Clean faster. Right. And so then I start saying, no, I'm like really sweaty. You know how you like kind of get sick or get sweaty when you get sick? Does that happen to you? And he's like, I don't know. And I was like, oh, it's happening to me. <laughs> yeah. So by the time we make it to the airport, we are not even through security. Nope. And, and I it say, doesn't look good. I need she doesn't to go, look good. I need to go use the bathroom. I go and I use the bathroom. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, Whoa. no, it's happening. Yeah. And so I was like, it's fine. It's fine if that's happening as long as I don't, like, throw up on the plane or anything. <laughs> Eight barfs later. Foreshadowing. We land in Philadelphia. It was not fun. Yeah. I threw up three times on the first plane, then in San Francisco, four times on the next plane. Just good times. One time in a trash bag because this, the doors were locked. And I was like, please open the lavatory. Please open the lavatory. And I finally turned to the sweet flight attendants who were very yeah. helpful. I said, I need a bag right now. I'm going to throw up. <laughs> so she gives me a full-size trash bag. And the only man in the back row with no headphones in was like, are you okay? Oh, you don't. Uh, he like was trying yeah. to be kind, but I'm also like, I don't you need your sympathy. You don't look good. I don't know what you're going to help me do. But he was very kind. But so that's how we got here. Yes. But I, I did fine. text Bianca. I feel great. By the time it literally, like it happened, and it was a short bug. And so I was over it by the time we landed. We landed in Philly and I kept a banana down and I've been good ever since. So, so it was fun. It was a it's wild like, ride. It's just fun to <laughs> have a sick wife on an airplane with three kids. Yeah. It's fun. The big girls did great. They did. Uh, Daisy actually did great, but it yeah. was just like. But I told Bianca and she was like, but wouldn't you rather it be you than the kids? And I was like, that's a solid thousand point. percent. Yes. I would do it again. My first choice would be no one. Yes. Um, thank you for your support, Bianca. That would be, that would be my ideal choice. Yes. But if I had to pick a second choice, yeah. it would be the guy in the last row. Yeah. Third yes. choice would be you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But. Her right. actual, her first response before she told me that, because that is a little bit like, wouldn't you rather? Yeah. She was in all caps. You know what you should have done? You shouldn't yeah. have gotten sick. She was like, why now? <laughs> Thanks, Jesus, friend. what's the lesson? Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. That was her actual yeah. response. Why now, Jesus, what's the lesson? Yeah. <laughs> the tagline of my year. Um, <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah. Um, speaking of the year, we're going to talk about our year. We're going to kind of recap a little bit of the podcast. We have yes. some, some statistics no one asked for, um, mm -hmm. which is awesome. And, and then we're going to kind of, you know, chit chat about the year as a whole. So do you want to start or should I start? I'll start. We, okay. Am I starting with the review of the yeah, year? Yeah, the review of the year, people. Review this of is the year. So I read all the reviews from the year and I picked my favorite. All four of them. Actually, so my favorite. Fun. I picked just like, what? All four of them. No, there's more than that. There's four pages of them. Whoa, let's I go. Know. I don't know Has how Has everybody left a, a review? Get on your phones right now and leave a review. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, this person's winning a hundred dollar gift card. Uh oh, so maybe, so maybe you do, do want to leave a review, but wait for the new year so you can get involved. Yes, wait until January 1. Boom. Review everywhere. 1201, blood everywhere. Okay, so review of the year is titled, Oh, So You're a Gum Chewer? Oh, nice. Five stars. Well, so great. That's, <laughs> shout out to Tiffany. Yeah. Always oh. noticing my gum chewing. You chew gum. You chew gum. That's interesting. Yeah? You notice people chewing gum. That's even more That's interesting. That's way more interesting. So, uh, wow, 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 wow. 
Each episode gives you a real life look into daily life, into daily life of a family striving to follow Jesus in a world where comfort is so easily found. They not only make you laugh and cry from laughing so hard, obviously, Brooke and TJ give you practical tidbits on reflecting how you desire to live your life. Are you sure you read these? I did read these. This is very small. So sorry. Maybe something's wrong with my eyes. From all the, something was wrong with my eyes from all the barfing. I was literally Googling, why do I have kaleidoscope vision? That was happening. Barf vision. (laughs) Barf vision. It was like a trapper keeper. No, 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 Barf vision. It was like a trapper keeper moving in my eyes. Um, remember not only it. do they give you the language to live life to the fullest, they also give you hilarious stories to remember to not take life so seriously. Highly recommend more than five stars, but I guess five stars will do. Yeah. Thanks, Brooke and TJ, for being a bright light in the world. Okay, I love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, no. It says anonymous. I didn't read that no, part. No, it says anonymous butt clencher. It does. So if, so if you, you love, how you love, do I prove that? I don't know. If you're the anonymous butt clencher, the other review had a name. I didn't well, realize I didn't this get picked, so. anonymous butt clencher. Well, I trust that person. Yeah, they'll, they'll reach out. They'll find us. They'll Maybe know. it was the guy in the back row. Could have been. Yeah. That's why he was like, are you okay? Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to do a quick uh, little recap of the year in terms of like our favorites. Okay. Um, and so we're going to start off with movies, Oof. Uh, which we did. a rough year for movies. Yeah, it was a rough year for movies. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be fine. You don't care yeah, at all. I don't care at all. I have no strong feelings about the state of cinema <laughs> at all. So it's fine. Why don't you go first? <laughs> I will go first. So I was thinking about. I, I will. I will sort of like caveat. This is like we have three kids. Um, they're wonderful. They're beautiful. They're amazing. They're sitting over there. I think it's dark. I can't see them. Um, but with three kids, we we spend a lot less time in front of our screens and more time in yes. front of I don't our... think I went to the movie theater once this year. Yeah, I don't think you did. So our list of to choose from was short. Already. And our choices were already, yes. Yes. So I legitimately think that the only new movie- Any guesses? That came out in 2023 that I saw- Any guesses? Barbie. You don't know, know us very well. Somebody said it. Um, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Mario, yeah. Yes. Someone said it's guess Barbie. Oh, and I didn't see yeah. Barbie. Um, uh, yeah, Mario. Movie of the year. Which I actually did really like. And I and my movie of the year, I just saw uh, last night with Matt. No, two nights ago. Two nights ago with Matt. And uh, it was Godzilla Minus One. Incredible movie. It's Japanese though, so you have to read the whole time. Um, so it's kind of like reading a book. That could count for both, a movie and book. <laughs> um, and uh, But it's really good. So that, that was mine. Uh, honorable mentions go to uh, Extraction 2, Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and then The see, Creator. See, I didn't see that. Yeah. I've almost started it like three times. Okay, what about your show of the year? Oh, show this, of the this year. list was literally two shows. And so we each picked one. Oh, I didn't even see your answer. That's pretty good. That's it. We watch that every year. Okay. My <laughs> list, not my list, my show of the year, the one. And that, your list. No, I watched more than that. But my, it's Silo. Yeah. We talked about Silo a good amount good, throughout the episode. Good show. It was so good that I actually found myself wanting to watch yeah. the next episodes instead of like, yeah, I guess that's fine. That's like, our, that that's like a, the sign for us. If a movie is a movie or show is good is like, if we think about it the next day. Yes. If I'm still thinking yeah. about it, then I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm invested. And not filled, I'm not filled with an angry rage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, mine is the great British baking show. So you didn't watch yeah. any other shows. <laughs> yeah. Fan <laughs> I mean, favorite. It's a show. Um, okay. It was a good, is, good, yeah. good season. Don't good, give it away. Good season. Okay. Uh, next up, we got some music recommendations. Okay. We have a playlist. We used to talk about songs of the week. If you're back in, in the uh, early days of the podcast, uh, we met some of you who started at one, um, which is wild. And, uh, you're in like the mid hundreds, um, which is crazy. Uh, some of you are pre voice surgery, which is just so fascinating to think. And just yeah. it's kind of amazing to hear your voice even just every day. Yeah. Um, but we used to do song of the week on the podcast and then Spotify got real mean about it and copyright copyrighted us. Yeah. So we kind of stopped, stopped that. We still add songs to it. So yeah, we got a couple al- of albums of the year, songs of the year. Why don't you go first? Okay. So the artist, um, it's actually a duo that I found this year that I listened to obsessively was Moody Judy. So good. It, they're so good. So good. I don't know anything about them, but other yeah. than that, they're. I like how we have to disclaim we don't well, know, I know anything about them. Because they're going like, to be like, Brooke loves Moody Judy. Yeah. And then it's like, Bleh, on Ew. the internet. <laughs> yeah. And, but m- music. I like their music. You like music. I like their Everyone music. Everyone likes music. Yeah, I like their music. And unfortunately, I, that's why I had to do album artist. Yeah. Because they don't really have an album. Yeah, they're a single. That's band. a little hot takey for me. Yeah. It's just a bunch of singles. And so then I yeah. have to make Sorry, my Jesse. own thing. No, Jesse yeah. has albums. 
Oh, she's over there. She's right there. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Um, yeah. So, my, yeah, so album my artists. My, mine are Paper and Crayons by Sam Wilson, mm -hmm. and then Conditions of a Punk by Half Life. Corey Fisher in the front row, who was late. I don't know if you guys noticed that, that he was late when he came. Um, <laughs> he introduced me to Half Alive, and they're probably my yes. favorite band, so thank you, Corey. Uh, you're forgiven for being a few minutes late. Um, <laughs> Caroline, you got some work to do. Um, okay, how about Book of the Year? Oh, Book of the Year. Um, Actually, I got a song of the year. Did you I write this you one, Jesse? Uh, Hold On by Jess Ray? Oh, <sighs> no, I'm sorry. Dang it, uh, so close. So maybe close. next year, Jesse. She's so good. You do write for her though, right? Sometimes. It's just so casual. Yeah, I just sometimes. Nice, yeah. Just sometimes write for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I mine would probably be one of the Moody Judy songs, which is very hard for me to choose. I think I picked LA anyway. Yeah. But yeah. It's funny because I feel like a lot of times my song of the year is either something very emotional. That's what mine is. Mine is like, you're gonna make yes, it, and DJ. And normally it is. And this year, <laughs> yeah, just hold on. Just hold on. Um, by Jess Ray. Yeah, like I feel like normally it's that for me. And I feel like this is the first time in a while that it isn't. And so I don't know if that means emotionally I'm doing better. <laughs> I'm or emotionally, emotionally dead so inside. so off the grid that I didn't even listen to music. <laughs> I'm not really sure which one. Both and. We'll find out. Um, yeah. And then book of the year. Book of the year. I did read a good amount of books this year. Sure I feel didn't. like they were all in the realm of 22 reviews. Like book one, business, <laughs> book one, page one. Here we go. I feel like they were all in the realm of business and like not self help. That's, science. That's the wrong. No, Brains. I don't think I've ever read a science book, <laughs> um, including my actual yeah. science book in school. Um, I took and so a I, I had no like fun magical story that I was like, oh, this yeah. is the one. So I, I put down Simple Money, Rich Life because I feel like it was Great. the most. Um, Thank you for writing a book. Here's a stomach bug. <laughs> Trade. That sounds even to me. Yeah. yeah. Um, what so about you? Mine, I've, I got a fiction section and a nonfiction section. I love it. Fiction section, books four through five of the Mistborn Saga by Brandon Sanderson. Everyone knows it. Everyone loves it. You guys get it. You're in the message boards. I see you there. <laughs> nope, not a single person. <laughs> uh, so that's fun. And then nonfiction was The Culture Code by Daniel Coyle. Culture Code, yeah. very, very good. So we strong. did read that this year. So yeah, those are a little bit of the, the favorites of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and now we're going to kind of transition into the, in the podcast world. Um, we, we looked up some statistics about the podcast because I just kind of <laughs> love that stuff. Um, we created 2,200 minutes of the Walk and Love podcast this year which it's is wild. I think it was actually the, the most consistent we've ever been. I believe that. And the one time we didn't record is when we were going to have Brad on. Son of a gun. Yeah. Whoa. If you guys could pray for my wife, let's just <laughs> bow our eyes. And, uh, it's such a bummer. Yeah, it was, it was That's a because you bummer. were barfing at times. Yep. So it was fun. Uh, 76% of you came back to listen this year. Uh, we were streamed in 42 countries. That's I think crazy. we charted in Slovenia a couple of times, so no big deal. Shout out to the Slovenians. Slo Slav Slovenites, yep. Uh, the top country, could you guess the top country? Yeah. I would think it's the United yeah, States. Yeah, it is, yeah, 100%. Okay, good. But the most new listeners were from our buddies up north. Canada. Mexico. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. It was oh. Canada. <laughs> it's Canada. Uh, we got some Canadians in the crowd, right? We do. Yeah, yeah. Front and, well, front and center. Let's go. A, eh? um, <laughs> uh, we were the top 10 podcast for 1,996 fans, which is wild. Yeah. The top five podcasts for 1,542 fans and the top podcast for 617 people are, did any of you guys get that award on Spotify? Yeah. yeah. One person. <laughs> that's <awesome>. So that's fun. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there's a dollar up here. Yeah, for you, you on get, the floor. If you can grab, just find June and you can have the plate. Um, we're kidding, Junie. Yeah, Junie, you can keep the plate uh, forever. <laughs> uh, the top episodes by the numbers, uh, num no, episode 165, a radical and helpful outline for life, warning that might actually change your life. Uh, I also think it was our longest title of the year. Yeah, so I think, what? Did we just crack the code? Is that what we did? Yeah, 2024, get ready so for long. some long titles. <laughs> Uh, number two, hurt and lonely. So you're wrong. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah. Also the tagline for my year. No, I'm just kidding. I had a good year. You did uh, have a good year. Uh, number 191 was uh, third, the art of letting go, lessons in managing life's burdens, which was actually the fan favorite. We asked you guys 
That one rose to the top of the list, uh, followed by Tie Up Your Cloak. Uh, Moms on Maui was number three, sort of tied with Living with a Grandparent's Perspective, which is so That's fun. That's fun. I had for, not literally forgotten. I remember what we talked about. That's my stretching one, which I kind of need to do. Grandparent's Perspective. I think I talk about stretching in that one. I right? love stretching. I do. I love it. Should I do stretch? Should I stretch right now? No. <laughs> it's too soon. Um, some of your guys' favorite moments was mm. uh, Chick-fil-A ordering guy, you know? Oh. Oh, honey mustard. Where am I? That was a surreal moment. Yeah, I was like, where are you? Where are you? Yeah. Uh, and how many mushrooms have you taken before yeah, he you came here? Yeah, he was not fully present in Chick-fil-A oh, that day. Oh, What's good here? Oh. <laughs> Literally, that is how Chicken he was. Chicken sandwich. Is that good? The poor person yeah. taking like, the order. Yeah. You're welcome to him out. And then, and then he looked down and he's, you, you don't want any sauces, sir? <laughs> Sir was kind of a stretch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, oh, because they're all like, honey mustard, bro. Yeah. So that one, that one was a big hit. It was good. Uh, Brad's flight to Pennsylvania, <laughs> uh, landing at gate C U R B. Um, spells curve. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think everyone knows that story. Yeah. Um, that's a good and one. then, uh, Michael falling out of the car. My brother Michael couldn't make it tonight. Scared to drive still. Um, <laughs> That's such an old story. I guess yeah. it just came up this year. But again. the car, the some of you saw the van. It was out there, parked, kind of strategically um, in homage of him. Uh, <laughs> and so yeah, so it was a good year, um, and uh, a good year to have uh, predictions. We had predictions for the year. We had a Mount Rushmore, Rushmore, mm. Rushmore. The <laughs> There you go. Of 2023. So every year before we get started, and we'll do this next, the next podcast episode, we make our predictions for what we think, what we think our Mount Rushmore will be for the year ahead of us. And we have very little ability in the prophetic. That's what the list really That's shows what the list us. Is really confirmed. It's like, it's wow, yeah, list. don't, if Brooke and I tell you to do something, maybe <laughs> you shouldn't listen. I don't know. Why are you here? Um, <laughs> so uh, here were our predictions. Okay, I'll so go, this is your, you, this, you looked these up. We're brand new. We're sitting at the beginning of 2023. We think the tagline is going to be way to go, TJ. You did it. Okay. The tagline changed. Okay. And it was like, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> so we cut the way to go. We yeah, just we said you like did it. it. Um, and so here are my predictions. I'm young. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm only 37 at that point. Wow. Got my whole life ahead of me. I don't love stretching though. Okay. So I was, I hadn't, I hadn't entered that era of life. Um, I'm going to make you a shirt that says you're in your stretching I'm in my era. stretching era. Yeah. Please don't. Um, I won't. I won't. Uh, so here are my predictions. Okay. Young 37 t- year old TJ. So dumb. So naive. Um, outdoor family time. This is a strong prediction. That happened. Solid. Yeah. This is the, this is the but great. did it make your list? No, it didn't. Yeah. No. Yeah. I yeah. uh, never went outside once. Um, no. Number two, this is the best one. <laughs> Growing tiny rhythms. Yeah. Not, a, I don't think we sold one. So that's not true. We sold, did anybody buy one? That's not true. We did. My mom. We sold one to send. That's Cindy. not true. No. <laughs> Here's the thing building a product from scratch is not fun. Sure. Confirm? It takes a long time. It takes time. a long time. That's what I would say. And especially when I've you make a mistake the in the process, then you have to redo it. So we were in a season of redo. Uh, and it's coming out soon. Version 2.0 is coming out and you guys are going to love it. So maybe more than Cindy should buy one. Um, but yeah, just, it just didn't work like we thought it would. And, uh, we had to kind of go back to the drawing the board. The physical pieces didn't yes. work, not the concept. Yeah, the idea is solid, I think. Um, and, uh, but yeah, that, that one made the list. That one was on your list too, which is even funnier. Probably because I was like, Oh, we're doing our list right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Every year. Every year. First episode of the year. Yeah. Are you ready this I'll year? I'll be ready this year. Okay, awesome. we've already talked about it. Um, working harder was on my that list. That was part of yeah, your, like, I activate. Did it. You d- that was a really bad high five. Um, You're and, so sweaty. Yeah, I'm really sweaty. Sorry. Yeah. It's fine. I smell great. Um, I love stretching. So that was on the list. And then the live event, which is today. So depending on how hard you guys laugh, we'll see. <laughs> I didn't realize that was on your list. Yeah, I, I remember just last year being so encouraged by it because, again, like we do this in a room by ourselves, and it, it, when I get to see people and actually know that like people listen, it it does something to my little thirty-seven-year-old heart at that time. Little now thirty-eight, and you know, but yeah. it's fine. Yeah, 
Yeah. So my predicted Mount Rushmore of 2023 was also growing and working on tiny rhythms, which we Solid. did do. We did. We did do. I feel like I need to make a big disclaimer. Disclaimer. You stressed Discla me out. Disclaim away. Disclaim away was that we realized the pieces were falling out and yeah. we were we were stressed that parents were going to be stressed. Yeah. Thinking that they were magnets. They, they were not magnets, magnets but just they looked pieces. like magnets. So we said everybody Who hasn't pause. Swallowed a penny in their life. Right. Yeah. It'll be fine. Everybody pause. Let's replace the pieces. Yeah. That's why we redid 2. it. 2.0 coming soon. It's gonna be great. It is great. Okay. Um, seeing more of Maui. I do feel like I did that. Well done. But it's not like it made my list. It didn't make okay. it didn't make this like the next one. All right. Um, having visitors. I gotta scroll down. What is my list? I don't think it's on there. Well, technically that first part. That's that's true. Um, and then this is interesting to me because I don't really know what I meant. <laughs> my health. Yeah, solid choice. Well, a version of it's Just, on there. You're alive. My see here's <laughs> barely. I, I did it barely from those airplanes. There was a moment in that back row that you thought that maybe poor not. man didn't know if I was yeah, gonna make like, it how's to my your health? And you're like, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of on there in a way. Anyway. True. Okay, so actual so you have Mount your Rush actual one. Actual Mount Rushmore. You want to go first? I can go first. Yeah. Um. So Mount on Mount Rushmore. There we go. Love the intro. Um. Mom's on Maui for sure. Solid. Both weeks. Yeah. Don't cheer the Amazing. Monza game. That's fine. You guys are fine. So so fun. Silence. Um. <laughs> it was just. It was just the coolest thing. Like that it happened. That that they came. Yeah. It was so fun. Like I just, I could talk about it all day and have such fun, positive yeah. things to say about it. So that is definitely on there, which checked off some seeing more of Maui. Seeing more of Maui. So maybe that, maybe, maybe I did. Maybe health? Mm, not really. No. We ate okay, a yeah. lot of stuff. Yeah. So I probably wouldn't put that Tagline of moms on Maui. Eat a lot of eat stuff. Eat a lot of stuff. See a lot of beach. <laughs> <laughs> beach stuff. Beaches and stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> where's my, sorry, it scrolled over. Um, launching Sunny Morrow. Let's go. Because that was not even like a, a blip of... An idea. That wasn't even an idea. No. It, it was, was literally never an idea until you text me your idea. Yeah. And then I said, let me sit Driving it, over train me. tracks. <laughs> <laughs> got no. this idea. I don't know what you were doing. Um, so that's <laughs> for sure on the list. Um, my voice being strong for another Let's year. Let's go. Yeah. Which I guess would be my health. Yeah. Yeah. In, health. In a way. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that's what I meant There's, when I wrote down my health. I don't know if you know, but... There's four presidents carved into the mountain. Yes, and I only have three written yes. down. No, that's, I know my fourth okay. one. But my voice being stronger because I think, um, shoot, what's our time stamp? Here we go. 27 oh, minutes. Yeah, um, that's 27 minutes time. in. Um, I don't even know <laughs> if I like, I don't really remember completely the episode last year where we wrote down like what we think it might be. Yeah. But I'm fully confident that there was a part of me that, that did not write that down specifically because I didn't know or believe it was going to happen. Mm. And so, sorry, y'all. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. I'm never sorry to cry, but um, it's just wild. It is. Like, I just, it has literally changed my life, mm. having it back. And then I think about that on a not so literal level, like the actual speaking, but for myself or those of us who feel like yeah. um, we get our voice back in a mm. different way you know, in a more like figurative way, um, as we figure out like who we are and how to run after Jesus and how to be moms and how to do all that. Um, yeah. it's so cool to continue to get your voice back like that year after year. Yeah. Um, obviously mine's very literal as well, but so that's on my list. Um, and then being in our house another year yeah. was really cool. Um, which I knew we would be, but like, I just, <laughs> thankfully, yeah, yeah. just barely. <laughs> No bridges involved. <laughs> um, but just like, and, and that's kind of like a little bit of the visitors, a yeah. little bit of like just being mom and homeschool. Like I feel like our house served us in so, served us and so many others in so many more ways this year. Yeah. And that was really, really cool to like see that come to fruition. And so. I vomited for the first time in Hawaii. So you did. Basically You're local. a local. <laughs> um, that's amazing. I, yeah, the voice thing is just, it continues to be just this incredible story of God's goodness and his faithfulness because I have many memories of just laying next to you in bed and just asking the Lord, just heal this. Please just do this. Please just do this for years, years and years and years. And, you know, to, to think that like somehow this move, found the right doctor, had the had a 
the right cert. Like it just, you just see his yeah. hand and all of that. And I feel like that could be on your list for the rest of your life. And yeah. it could still just mean just yeah. as much. Um, and it's just so fun to talk to you more. <laughs> oh, like thanks. it really is. <laughs> and for those of you who are like early in the episodes, um, it's like, like people ask us what episode something's from and like the early ones are hard. They're hard for us oh, to go yeah, back and listen, listen to. So mm -hmm. we don't know the answer um, <laughs> because we haven't listened to them because yeah. it's like really challenging. Um, but yeah, that one is so cool. So uh, mine, I have, m none of mine were on the list at the beginning of the year. <laughs> not I even think close. we're like four years in of not Yeah, I remember lists, right. <laughs> the one year I was like, we bought Hershey Park season passes. <laughs> I was like, it's gonna be such a great year. We're gonna Hershey Park every day. And then COVID, which is so you. And then COVID sky happened. High yeah, sky high expectations. That will actually go. I'm gonna every ride day. the Great Bear every day for the rest of my life <laughs> until the day I die on the Great Bear, and it's gonna be so fun. They'll tell stories about me. Remember that guy that died on the Great Bear? Yes, it was his dream. His photo was interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, and, uh, and we didn't go once, not a single time. We no, actually got refunded our, our season passes. Yeah. Um, and again, this year, way off, off, off the charts. And I think that just like shows you that like, no matter how much planning and how much, like how much thought we can put into like, let's do this and let's do this and let's do this. Yeah. It's like just the subtle hand of God kind of ushering you into the things that I think you really, you didn't think you needed, but you actually did need. And yeah. they're, they end up being so beautiful and rich. And so my four are like, uh, the first one is watching Daisy become a toddler. Mm. Um, just fully experiencing her and who she is and realizing that like, as a dad, you know, as a, as a dad, your firstborn, like eventually you're going to have to tell your firstborn, Hey, I'm really sorry. I tried my best, <laughs> but you were kind of the Guinea pig and, <laughs> and we the did cutest guinea, pig. cutest guinea pig of all time. <laughs> and we didn't always get it right. Uh -huh. And then your second born, you're like, I, again, same sort of thing. And I just feel like for the first time we have been, we have been healthier here yeah. and here so that we can fully experience what's here. Um, which is just Daisy being two. And, and, and it's just been like a really beautiful thing for me to be like, okay, like, you know, when I think back about the first two being, being that young, it was definitely like, I, I didn't enjoy it as much. Mm -hmm. And so to be, I feel like we weren't as present. Yeah. And yeah. so just to be able to like fully soak it all up is really, really, it's been really sweet this year. Um, followed by, yeah, I'm 32 minutes in, so I beat ya. Um, <laughs> seeing uh, June and Sunny deep in their friendship. Um, it's just such a rich thing as a parent to watch because they will be friends for longer than they will know me. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I want that. I want to cultivate that. I want to yeah. chase after that. And I just love seeing it. And so just like those two little squirrels running around the house, <laughs> you know, just, just being, just being fully them. And like, yeah. I just like, that has just been such a rich part of this year outside, just like, just, just being them and just like seeing that friendship go and just know that like June and Sunny are the same age difference that Sunny and Daisy will be. And like, what a rich thing to be like, we see that now. Yeah. We'll see that then we'll see that like, just to like cultivate a, like a, like a attitude of, of friendship in our home yeah. and just see it unfold has just been so rich. And then on the other side of that, it's like having rich friendships as an adult. You know, I, I think the studies say that like one in four men have zero friends. Um, yeah. We are a lonely people. Mm -hmm. And I have some of the best friends I've ever had um, this year. You know, Matt, who's here, um, <laughs> or Mark, depending on how you, well you know him. <laughs> I almost said Mark if you're nasty. And I was like, that sounds too far. <laughs> um, uh, you know, Brad. Yeah. Uh, Jeff yeah. and Ian, it's just been so rich to just have friends as an adult. Yeah. Um, and, and to know that like, I could call those guys, um, to play video games or to like, Hey, this is what's going on. I need yeah. help. And, and they'd be there. So that that's really been a highlight of the year, having that rich friendship. 
Um, and then my, I, I, I carved five mountains this year. Oh, okay. Um, one of them was <laughs> Sunny Morrow, just that being a thing. Yeah. Uh, it's just crazy. And then the other one was Moms on Maui. So I, I, I stole two years. And I think uh, the Moms on Maui for me was one, I had this super fun, enjoyable experience with my daughters. We got mm -hmm. to travel together. We got to, you know, June had this awesome bucket list of all the things she wanted to do. And we got to do all those things. And, and it was just like so fun to do that as a dad. Like yeah. when I think about the seasonality of that, that like, let's say we do Moms on Maui once a year, or twice a year, like for those girls to have whatever, like t let's say we do it for five years, mm -hmm. five trips with their dad. Yeah. Like that, that that's incredible. And so like to know that that started this year is just like so good and so rich. And yeah, like this year wasn't exactly the easiest for me. Right. But when I look at that, I'm like, man, I wouldn't, I would, wouldn't change any of that. Yeah. Like those things are so rich and abundant. Um, yeah. So yeah. I think what doing the predictive lists makes me feel is that it actually makes me feel super grateful that we, we actually makes me feel grateful. We don't know what's coming. Yeah. Like that we really don't, um, we're not in control. <laughs> yeah. Um, because not that the things we put on there were, were bad or um, not worthy of putting on a list, yeah. but like if my life year after year only went the direction I thought it was going based off of those lists, um, I would be headed in a very different direction than yeah. where God has actually taken us. And so that's cool. It is really cool. And so yeah, encouragement to you guys literally sitting there which is wild. Um, and the, those of you who will listen later and didn't buy tickets, it's fine. Um, <laughs> to do this practice, it is such like a, it's just such a life giving practice yeah. to just, you know, pick four, you know, you can do Mount Rushmore, you can copy us or you can pick five things or 10 things or one thing or whatever. Like it, yeah. it, there is so much value in that rhythmic practice of doing that over and over again, that yeah. just like, it makes you realize where the Lord showed up, what God did. Um, mm -hmm. God is doing a new thing, you know. <laughs> Yo, huh. who's doing um, And so, yeah, it's been really good. Uh, speaking of the year, which we're doing. Yes. Segue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> should we bring a segue next year? I've never been on a segue. Yeah. I don't Have think you? I don't think you'd do well. What? Um, For real? Is that a real take? Yeah, that's a real take. You really don't think I would do well on a segue? <laughs> no. I mean, I'm not saying I would. Do you think you're segue material? I never really thought about it. Are they hard to ride? I don't know. No, I've never ridden look one. Look at the people who ride some of those. I've never ridden one. Yo, you you've never been on it. You don't either. No, but I. You picture Segway Brooke. Okay. It's not a vibe. <laughs> okay. You Segway all rollerblade. <laughs> that is a I'll vibe. Keep up. Maybe a little rope. Oh. Slingshot. So I can yeah, yeah. go faster. Um, this year we talked a lot about a lot of things on the podcast. Yeah. Um what were some of yours, some of your favorites, some of, some favorites. of your like, like what language did you add this year mm. uh, that kind of maybe took you by surprise or that like has been super helpful or, yeah. you know? Um, I think my top personal episode of the year was probably the one where we talked about the raft. Which raft I'm, talk. Raft talk, which I'm pretty sure raft talk is the art of letting go. I think so. Can I think someone that's confirm the same that? episode, um, which cool. makes sense. Thanks. Um, yeah, that one has just continued to, that language has continued yeah. and visual like picture has continued to be so, so helpful. Um, and I think what's cool is that as we do this year after year where, where you and I continue to figure out how to talk to each other yeah, <laughs> and how to talk about things and how to talk about talking about things and how to talk about talking about talking about talking about things. It does feel like yeah. that sometimes. Um, is that like it, I don't feel like we we have one year and then we move into the next year and we set down all that language and move on to the no, next. Like we like, just yeah. keep adding to it. And so it, it only becomes more and more and more helpful. And so the raft episode That's, um, that was with huge. that story was just so, so yep. helpful. Um, and then one of the more recent ones with like the emotional backpack, yep. that was some really helpful. Like, I mean, I even told you today, <laughs> you were like, are you okay? And I'm like, I am setting things down as fast yeah. as I can. Give me a minute. It was like, fun. To process. It was fun. I, it was real fun. I loved um, it. But you, I loved it. You <laughs> similar to the way I like stretching. Stretching. Um, but I, I do feel like it. It. Yeah. It just like it boom. I knew where you and were. Then you were yeah. like, okay, I'll give you a minute. You know. Um, I would put that on my list, and then the discomfort on both sides um, has been or ends. Has or been ends. Very, yes. Oh, there were discomfort <laughs> on both ends. Had twenty twenty three. Yes. 
December 2023, Discomfort on Both Sides. Yes, tagline. Yeah, on, and really just two flights. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the discomfort on both sides has continued to make me acknowledge like so often, and I've gotten way better, but so often I'm afraid of the change or the different thing over here. And I'm like, ooh, that's going to make me feel something or do something, whatever. And I don't acknowledge how much just different, but how much discomfort I'm sitting in right now. Like this is often yeah. actually worse than this over here. Yeah. It's just that this feels very unknown. And so to acknowledge that like there, it's there either way, it's yep. just going to look different. Um, but making myself jump to that other side so many times this year, um, because then this, I feel like this, sorry, people listening who can't see my hands is a little less sorry. more confusing about tickets. I, <laughs> um, I just feel like getting myself to cross over to this other side of like the growth and the, then the mm. change discomfort was so much, um, there was so much there yeah. compared to like staying in this little bubble of, well, I don't know, you know, yeah. I don't want to, I don't want to feel anything, you know? Um, yeah. so I think, I think those were probably my top three. Sweet. What about you? I didn't have any. Not at all. Yeah. Not no a takeaways. single one. So maybe next year, uh, mine were definitely the raft episode from mm. like a specifically like a business perspective, sort of mental shift. Um, that was hands down. Like that has been super helpful, super life giving. And then, yeah, I think I would, I would honestly sort of say the same as you, um, in terms of the backpack, like, but not really as much for me, more as language to understand you better like mm -hmm. that. Even this morning, it was super helpful of just like, okay, yeah, let's, let's take those rocks out and let's, let's start over. Let's like re rehash this conversation. Yeah. Um, but that's, that's been super, super helpful. Um, as a whole, I think the year for me as a whole was one uh, of <laughs> unmet expectations that I didn't even realize I had. Mm. Um, it me, it, it me. <laughs> yeah. And just like, you know, again, just sort of like, you know, what, why Jesus, what's the lesson in this as you <laughs> throw up on an what's airplane? Yeah. yeah. I felt that. <laughs> I felt that in, in a lot of ways this year, but also had this really rich year emotionally mm -hmm. and like relationally with you and with Brooke or you and Brooke <laughs> um, and you and June and Sunny and Daisy. And so, yeah, I feel like, and we were talking about it last night at the dinner, um, you know, I was asking people like, you know, what was your year like? What was mm -hmm. it? Was it hard? Was it good? Was it great? Um, and a lot of hard years this year mm -hmm. for people. And I feel like, uh, one person said, I can't remember who, it's probably me. Um, <laughs> it's really wise. Person, yeah, it's just really, really wise. Good looking. Yeah, strong, strong but sensitive um, yeah. type of person. Shorter than Ben, though. So, <laughs> uh, said the word like it was just like it was kind of a grinded out year. Like, mm -hmm. and I feel like culturally, we kind of all felt that like everything costs more money. Uh, we got less eggs for, you know, more money. <laughs> more money. Yeah. And so that was fun. <laughs> um, and it just like, everything felt like, like it was just a little bit harder, a little bit more grindy. Like mm -hmm. you could just sort of feel that tension, um, which is, which is like kind of exhausts you, you know, like when you have to grind it out. It, well, it wears on you. Yeah, yeah. It wears. And so it was just interesting kind of hearing that. And then like today we're, we're, we're meeting people at the beginning and, uh, you know, asks, ask a couple, you know, how's your, you know, how's your year? Mm -hmm. Hard, good. And he's like, good. I, I, I started walking with the Lord again. Yeah. And so it's just like it, that, that to me is so fun to hear because mm -hmm. when you're grinding and you're sort of in that tension of like, Oh yeah, gosh, everything seems harder. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it, it's so refreshing to hear that someone didn't have that year. Like yeah. it's so life giving to be like, yeah, this was a year of abundance or this was a year of like, like where the Lord really met me. And so it, I, I feel like in, in those two conversations between last night and this morning, there was just like this very obvious, like both and, and even just looking at my Mount Rushmore, realizing that like, I thought I'd have this one year. I put some expectations, I think on, on my, in my head that I didn't mm -hmm. realize I had. And then finding out that like, I actually had this very different year, but those expectations weren't met, but the both and of that was so rich yeah. that like, and I think that's why we continue to have these types of conversations is because yeah. without this sort of like uh, stake in the ground flag, like, you know, we, I don't think I'd realize it as much. I don't think I'd realize 
what no, the Lord and I is was doing. Gonna, I was going to add on to what you had said earlier about like taking the time to do it. I think take the time to do it. And then if you can, I'd really challenge you to you, anybody, you like to share it with somebody. Yeah. Because I think that's also part of the magic is that we do, we talk about it. I'm just not like making a little note on my phone right. and then keeping it to myself. Yeah. Like, because we talk about it. Sometimes I see what's on your list and it could be from anything. Highlight of the week. Yeah. Highlight of the month. Like what's on your Mount Rushmore. And I'm like, oh, I feel like I get to know you better because yeah. of what you deem, you know, worthy of carving in stone. But then I also like, I just love that like Jesus is so good. Mm. And, and I think that this year that goodness f felt like, you know, when you have a, when you have a year of, of abundance or like a, a easy, you're not grinding it out. There's this, there's this lack of need. Like you don't need to call on the Lord. You don't need mm, to like cry right. out to him. You sort of just like become comfortable and, and you know, life is easy and all this kind of stuff. And then when you have a year where you're really grinding it out, like I feel like we re fall in love with him and we re cry out to him mm -hmm. And the beauty is that he's still there, you know? And I, and I just like, I found that so comforting. And, and I feel like similar to the Mount Rushmore of like being able to appreciate Daisy was just like, I felt like this new sort of like softness of my heart to reappreciate who Jesus is mm. again in like this really fresh and new way. And I don't know if I would have had that if I didn't grind it out. Like I know for sure I wouldn't have. Yeah. And so as I sit here and look back at 2023 and 37 year old TJ, I realized that like, man, in a year where I said, my tagline is why Jesus, what was the line? Why Jesus, remember. what's the lesson now? Yeah. <laughs> I think the lesson was like, come to me. I yeah. like, keep coming back over and over again in abundance and need and want and desire, like just keep coming back over and over again. And sitting here now, I'm just like sort of having that epiphany of like, wow, thank you. Yeah. That was good. I needed that. Mm. I'd like maybe not to grind it out as much next year, but <laughs> If that's what we need, if yeah. that's what I need, let's do it. I'm ready. Yeah. I love it. We had picked our words of the year. Yep. Um, yours was activate. And activate. Activate. Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Activate. And mine was... Um, Holy Spirit. Activate. 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 Holy. All right, let's go. Um, and mine was growth. And I, I feel like what... I feel like our Mount Rushmore's reflect those well. Do you feel like you did that this year? Yeah, I... I feel like the activation was much more geared towards work. I can, I can have, I mean, you know, a seven on the Enneagram. I love, I'm very good at relaxing, very talented at entertainment. Very, <laughs> I'm very good at laying horizontally right. and consuming Way media. Like if you want to, if you want to challenge me, I will win. <laughs> um, and so activation for me was like, I, I, I need to sort of reject this sort of apathetic spirit and mm -hmm. I need to activate. And, and I, I think I did. And I think what I envisioned was like, oh, it's just going to be for work. Mm -hmm. And what I really saw was like, no, it was like in a lot of areas of life. Like I read more of the Bible this year than I ever have in my entire life. I think I exercised more than I ever have in my entire life. Mm -hmm. um, I think I spent more time with June, Sunny, and Daisy than I ever had in my entire life. Mm -hmm. um, I think we, we, we recorded the podcast more than we ever have. We had more conversations like this than we ever have. And so yeah. like, you know, the activate, maybe I'm prophetic. Boom. Love it. Listen to me. Um, I sense a lot of you are going to check out later tonight. <laughs> no. Um, I just, yeah. I, just, I see a sweater in yeah, your I see future. Yeah, I see a Sunny Morrow sweater in your future. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, I think what I'm realizing here and getting to this point is, is always challenging because like it's an event we got to do all this stuff. You know, we're trying to, we're trying to set up as quickly as possible. We also have children here and we're trying to make sure that they can nap and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. And it's like, it's not until I sit down here that I'm like, Oh, this is like, there, there's something been happening to get to this point. And like, yeah. it kind of hits me with this, like, Whoa, God is real. Whoa. Yeah. Honey mustard. <laughs> honey mustard. Yeah. It's like the honey yeah. mustard moment. <laughs> Whoa, God is real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I would 100% say that you activated. I think yeah. it was a really good word for you to choose for the year because it was this like point for us to look to, both of us. I knew where you wanted to be challenged. And so then I could support or challenge yeah. in that area, which was cool. I, f I feel like I had a very big year of growth. Yeah. Um, in terms of, yeah, just what I was willing to say yes to and try and yeah. 
I mean, the fact I don't that, have like, a lot to unpack. The it. fact I just that like, feel m- like moms on Maui was a thing this year. Like, yeah, you talked to Brooke of two years ago or even one year ago. Maybe one year ago you would have said yes, but two most year, of it two was years a no ago. Of voice. Yeah, and so like it's just so cool to see the Lord work. And again, this is why we do this podcast. This is why we have these conversations. This is why we try to write things down because if we don't, we'll end up going two, three years and feel like, God, are you there? God, did you do anything? And it's like, if we just take note, if we, if we take a second, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 35 seconds. I could see that happening. 42 seconds. Yeah. 50 seconds. It's a real possibility. Um, we can just find these moments that we can put down markers and really see the Lord move. And I think that's what this mm-hmm. end of the year thing always does to me. And I'm always yeah. sort of surprised by it, like a dumb dumb. <laughs> like, duh, DJ, it's going to be emotional. Like, right. we're talking about 12 months of your life. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. I think that's it. I think that's it. Cool. We will see you next year. Well, we're going to do, we're, we still have more of the event to do. No, I'm talking to the people listening. Oh, yeah. The non ticket buyers. The non ticket yep. buyers. We'll see you next year. Yeah. We'll see the rest of you right yeah, now. Yeah, the rest of you, we're going to hang out and have so much fun. <laughs> it's going to be so cool. <laughs> Jesse Early's going to sing songs. <laughs> we might do a Q&A. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're going to give away prizes. So it's going to be great. It. But thank you so much, all of you. I can't say it enough, uh, especially those of you who, who, who have come from far away. Like, that's just wild to us. Um, we did come further though. So <laughs> we won that prize. It's tickets back. Um, I know I was like, we're going to give away tickets to Maui for the people who traveled the furthest. It's us. It's um, us. It's our so, return yeah, flights. We got those return flights already set in stone, <laughs> um, non-refundable. So we can't transfer them to you. Um, but yeah, we're just super grateful, super thankful for all of you. Um, both you ticket buyers and you non, um, uh, that you guys would honestly take time to spend with us. Like it just, it, it, it overwhelms me and, and we're super grateful. Mm -hmm. So thank you for listening. Thank you for making us a part of your week and Mm -hmm. your year and all the things. Okay. Okay, I love love you. you. Bye. Bye.